Cell phones, let's face it, are part of the family, right, Darren? Oh yeah. I mean, how I mean, ours are right here. I know. I will. <laughs> mine's always like pretty much attached to my head yeah. like this. But how long have you had a cell phone for? Um, so my mom didn't let us get a cell phone until we started driving, so she could know where we are. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a good time to get them. Don't get your like three year old cell phone. Call. Oh, you're preaching <laughs> to the choir. I got yeah. my first cell phone in '99, fresh out of high school, and yes. was hooked ever since. But a recent study is now showing the dangers of having cell phones close to you and cell phone use. Uh, the California Department of Public Health is releasing guidelines about cell phone radi radiation and how you can reduce its exposure. Now I know all about this because I work in telecom, and we're constantly going back and forth with arguments about. How much radiation do you get from a cell phone? Is mm -hmm. it healthy? Are mm -hmm. we are we are we false or wrong in thinking that we right. could possibly get cancer from using a cell phone? Dr. Karen Smith of the California Department of Public Health says we recognize that there are a lot of people in the general public that have some concerns about their cell phones and whether using a cell phone is safe. When you sleep, you can keep the cell phone at arm's length away from your body, and also not carrying your cell phone in your pocket, having it either in your purse or not carrying with you, with it with it with you at all is also great. Now. I keep my cell phone in my pocket. <laughs> and I had a doctor tell me that that's not good for the boys because even yeah. though it doesn't emit a lot of radiation, it still emits enough radiation to possibly over time cumulatively cause low sperm count, sperm count, testicular, testicular, I can't even talk today, testicular cancer, yeah. things of that nature. I kind of agree with that. Yeah, I mean, well, if you just think about it, like, Radio frequencies entering your body all day. Like, I mean, there's a reason why they use radiation for cancer treatment. Yeah. Like, let's let's just start with that. Um, but this, <laughs> let's Good just start. Point. Like, there's a reason Great why they point. use radiation for cancer <laughs> treatments. You know, because you know, waves are like they can be super super detrimental to your health. Yeah. Um, but one thing that I noticed about this article. Um, it does say, although conclusive medical research is lacking, some studies suggest a possible connection. So I think that there aren't a lot of medical studies right now that you know directly link cell phones to you know brain tumors, cancer, all that stuff. Um, but I th I think for me the main things that cell phones do is well one you're just on it all, all the, the time. time incessantly so. That already, I'm like, I know that I don't get a lot of sleep because there's a lot of times where I'm just like on my phone at night and then I'm like, wait, what am I, why am I doing this? Right. Like, I'm not doing anything. It's important. habitual. Yeah, it's it's totally habitual. Um, and then lack of sleep can then affect your diet. Your diet can affect your overall health. Uh, lack of sleep can affect your sanity. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I feel like phones, regardless of whether it's it's the radiation that's causing this, there are other parts of cell phones, just the fact of, being on it all the time that can affect your sleep, your diet, uh, you know, and uh, like I said, that affects your overall health, mm -hmm. which can affect you know your possibility of getting it's cancer. Compounded. I mean, there's there's so many foods that are carcinogenic. So if if you're not getting a lot of sleep and then you're just like eating bad, that can have a huge huge effect on like your me. likeliness to get cancer. <laughs> he's he's like, yeah, I'm like, I ain't like Jared's shit secretly dragging me in this segment. She's like, Jason, I'm calling, I'm calling <laughs> I'm out your calling whole you existence, out. your whole existence. Yeah. In 2011, uh, WHO, the World Health Organization's international agency for research on cancer, classified radio frequency. Those are the waves that you get from your cell phone as being possibly carcinogenic to humans. Mm -hmm. Now, you see people. That have cell phones that are cracked, like iPhones that are cracked at the top. Yeah, that can't be safe. That can <laughs> when you have the your internal the internal workings of your phone that power the phone open to emit radio frequency, especially yeah. on LTE. We all have 4G LTE. That's mm -hmm. like the most powerful radio network for wireless transfer and wireless data that your phone's constantly connected to. So imagine having the the device that's connected to that open while you're putting it to your head or Bluetooth headphones yeah. or in your car, the Bluetooth in your car. One person had said to me that you get more radiation walking in Los Angeles during the day than you would being in your car with your Bluetooth active or listening to your phone, which I, I fully believe. <laughs> I, yeah, I was like, okay, you know, I would check the receipts on that, but it sounds about but it right. Sounds, yeah, it, it sounds, sounds about right. right. Uh, there was um, a person who his name was um, uh, Dr. Joel Moskowitz of UC Berkeley, who sued back in 2009 the California Department of Health for not releasing this information mm -hmm. almost 10 years ago. So this has now come full circle almost 10 years later, where we're now yeah. saying, hey, yes, there are some dangers to this. And Ken and Dr. Smith of um, the department said, our position is that science is ever evolving. So that was the reason why they didn't really give hard hitting, yeah. factual. Science-based conclusions about this. Yeah, and and I think you know there there 
to me anyways, I think that there are negative um, health aspects of having your cell phone on you all the time and just having those radio waves like near your body at, at all times. Um, so I'd be interested to see who can do a, a conclusive study on the medical aspects of it. Um, but for me, I, I like, you know, read these little guidelines. I did too. How, and I was like, oh, okay, I do this, I do this. Keeping your phone away from the bed at night, okay, I do that. I don't wear a headset, so that doesn't apply to me. Yeah. Um, reducing the use of cell phones to stream audio or video, that's what we do all the time. Yeah. Like Instagram videos, YouTube, all that. So, um, yeah, don't. Try to use your cell phone a little bit less. <laughs> yeah, well, and cell phone use is so yeah. saturated. 95% of Americans, just Americans, be it young adults, adults, older adults, are using cell phones. Yeah. Again, we're, we're attached to it. It's part of the family. Yeah. Your iPhone is part of the family. Mm -hmm. you don't, I, I mean, for safety reasons, some people like to drive without without their phone. I know mm -hmm. I don't like to. Yeah. And also, everything is just so readily available. It I is. agree with you on the sleep aspect, though. I'm always at night just doing this, like right? scrolling. Scrolling, liking, commenting. Right, and I realize <laughs> that I don't sleep. I have a hard time falling asleep, I guess, after that. It's, it's yeah. very weird. It's it's really weird. But what do you guys think? I feel like they have a point here. Yeah. Obviously, these are people smarter than me that are saying this. So, <laughs> they, so they, 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 they must be on the right yeah. track. <laughs> How often do you use your cell phone? Are you on it all the time? Let us know in the comment section below. Did you buy the iPhone X? And if so, do you love it? And we'll see you next time <laughs> on Pop Trigger.